fact that White is coming off the loss with Fury. So people are thinking if Fury retires, then it might be Wilder White. Will that be something that... Yeah, Wilder White's an incredible fight. I mean, Dillian White has got loads of big fights left in him. I don't think he boxed a great fight against Tyson Fury, but Tyson Fury is a very good fighter. And he boxed a great fight. So, But, you know, Dillian White's a fun fighter. There's fights against AJ. There's fights against uh, White. Uh, sorry, Wilder. There's fights against Ortiz. There's fights against Ruiz. These are all incredible fights for Dillian White. So he's going to be back in the heavyweight division for sure. Eddie, um, Canelo obviously is with you for the for till the end of the year, but I'm sure he's spoken to you about obviously about he he wants to make history, and it, it looks like it. At light heavyweight, it's going to be better be of her or Joe Smith Jr. Has he spoke to you about that and his plans to possibly face oh, it? I mean, the fight? plan right now, of course, is Dimitri Bivol this Saturday. That's the, the full focus. After that, you've got Gennady Golovkin possible trilogy in September. After that, we talk about a London fight or a Mexico fight um, to close the year off. And I think realistically, the undisputed 175 pound fight will come in Cinco de Mayo next year. If that doesn't get made, I think you have the cruiserweight fight as well. You know, people talk about Usyk, etc. I think AJ will beat Usyk. We'll see, but that's not that's not something that you know we're we're actively looking at or negotiating. He just believes he would beat him.